First Alert Weather Center now with meteorologist Alicia Wilson. It's one of my very favorite places mm -hmm. to visit in Western North Carolina. And so many have said the trees are still looking beautiful despite those higher elevations losing many of their leaves. Right, we saw just from that video there how gorgeous it is. So yeah, if folks can get out there, be sure to get up there and enjoy the fall foliage while it's uh, still while changing it's up there. Yeah, yeah the I colors know. quickly changing. All right, next few days here, we are continuing to see some unseasonably warm weather, but we do have two cold fronts headed our way. That's going to drop those temperatures down into the 60s by the weekend. So we do have a brief cool down in the forecast. So far, sunny and dry today, and that's really how it's going to be staying, courtesy of this area of high pressure just off to our west. This cold front will be pushing through over the next 24 hours, and it's really not going to bring us any wet weather. We're actually going to be staying dry, but we will see our temperatures modifying just a little bit. Behind this, we have another cold front, and that's what's going to drop us into the 60s over the weekend. So we'll get another dose of drier air pushing in here going into Thursday and Friday. That's going to keep those dew points into the 30s and the 40s. So we are not expecting any rainfall. It's just going to continue to stay sunny and dry. We've spent about seven days now since we have had any measurable amounts of rainfall, and that will be the trend right on through the end of the week. There'll be a small chance for a stray shower as we get into Saturday with the passage of the second cold front, but overall another sunny and dry end to our Wednesday, and that pattern will continue right into Thursday as well. Expecting that another clear and cool night for tonight with lows down into the 50s and the 40s for the mountains, but look at this. Talk about a temperature roller coaster. We go from the 70s and the 80s on Saturday down into the 60s for Sunday and Monday, but we're right back up into the 70s for Tuesday and next Wednesday with our high temperatures right back up to 78. So keep the jackets handy, but all in all, we're staying gorgeous for the weekend for your weekend plans up to 82 on Saturday after starting out the morning hours into the 50s. Then Sunday, it's going to be much cooler with highs only into the upper 60s and it will be a bit breezy as well. We're at 65 currently in Boone at 70 in Morganton and Lenore, 73 in Charlotte, 75 already in Chesterfield. And from here, we're expecting a high of 80 in Charlotte and Monroe, 82 in Chesterfield, and some lower 70s this afternoon across portions of the mountains. It'll be tonight going into tomorrow morning that we fall back down into the 40s, a low of 47 for the mountains, 53 in Charlotte and 52 in Chesterfield. Let's check out your seven day forecast here. Big day on Saturday with the concert for the Carolinas, a great cause to raise some money there for the folks across the high country and the weather is going to cooperate for that concert. Be mindful though on Sunday as you head out to church in the morning that we will be getting off to a cooler start and the temperatures by the afternoon, they're not warming up much at all with highs into the upper 60s. It's going into the middle of the next week of next week that we're right back up into the mid to upper 70s.